So let's see how this works in a real application here. So I've got here this um, touch tone telephone sitting here. Classical telephone. So what we are dealing here with, or what we would like to, to play with, is with a, with a zero here. Yeah, so the zero, if I press this button here, the zero gives us two tones, a tone at 136 hertz, and another tone at 941 hertz. So what I've done is I've rigged this phone up to the USB DUX board, in a very simple fashion. Yeah, so I use the plus 5 volt here with a resistor of 10k ran this into into the phone and then set this to, to ground here and then this here I just ran into my AD converter Yeah, so this just goes into the AD converter. So, so the AD converter is a USB DUX board, um, and so so I just starting now this oscilloscope program here. So let's just move this here quickly over. So what I do is I start this program comedy record here. So uh, with a sampling rate of four kilohertz, we're just using one channel and the minus X. This gives us our Fourier transform window, what I've just shown. So this function and plots the Fourier spectrum of that. So let's start comedy record. So that's now showing up here. Let's just bring this on the screen here. So that's now showing us here the trace. And so if I now pick up the receiver, then hopefully we should see something here. Now we see already a bit of my speech. Let's just um, amplify this a bit more. So if I now hold the receiver here onto my mouse, we see that the speech is um, easily recognizable here. So now let's um, pull our Fourier transform window also on here, just to see that this works. So now this is the Fourier transform of me as I, as I speak. Yeah, so we see uh, quite a lot of different frequencies obviously in speech and it's a very complex spectrum generated by that. So in order to test this, that it really works and um, actually calculate the right frequencies, that's the reason why I've got this phone here. So if I'm pressing now the button zero, what we should see now is these two frequencies. So let's do that. And we see that we are getting these two frequencies, 941 and the 1336 hertz here. So if I let this go here, then we are getting just a random spectrum of me speaking here. So if I'm pressing other buttons, obviously we're getting different frequencies and that's the way how how these different tones are detected just by running a Fourier transform and detecting this. Um, so the bottom window here, this is powered by our FFT W3 and this gives us a beautiful FFT spectrum here while I'm speaking.